What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite for my ultimate guide on every single Black Ops 6 weapon camo unlock, but inside a war zone. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and as a big reminder, with the launch of Season 1, we have plenty of brand new articles going up on Detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. Also, expect plenty of updates to both Stockpile and Codex as the season does progress. But you can follow me on Twitter at DK Dynamite one and use code DYNAMITE to save upwards of 12% off any order with SteelSeries, Control Freak, Gamer Advantage, and even AIM controllers. Detonated also has you guys in the loop with everything, every single hour here on Twitter. Got plenty of tweets coming out today, brought to you guys by co-owner Mr. Fajardi. But with that being said, I made a video just like this a couple of weeks ago for Black Ops 6 multiplayer and zombies. We went over every single military, special, and mastery camel challenge for both modes. But now that season one is out, we can see every challenge for Warzone. So let's make things very clear. First of all, for the military camo set, you gotta make sure that you're getting eliminations, right? This could be in any mode, Battle Royale, Resurgence, even Plunder. The military camo category for every weapon class will be the same. It's gonna require you to get 100 kills with that weapon, which is obviously a bit harder to do in Warzone compared to multiplayer or zombies, right? Kills are a bit harder to come across. And it's also worth pointing out, the reason I'm making this video is in the case you're in-game and you forget what some of the camel challenges are, you can refer to this video or an article on Detonated to actually see what the challenge is because as of now, when recording this, you can't track any challenges in the menu. So that's exactly why this video does exist. But as far as the mastery camel challenges do go for every weapon class, along with military, you could see for Gold Tiger, they want you to go ahead and get five eliminations while being the most wanted contract target while using this weapon. So a very particular challenge that you guys got to go ahead and get done to get gold. And you can obviously go ahead and go for the Gold Tiger Mastery once you've gotten both specials first. But now when it comes to King's Ransom, the second Mastery camo, they want you to make sure you've gotten Gold Tiger on at least seven assault rifles inside a war zone this could include dlc weapons it doesn't have to be the launch assault rifles by the way but once you've gotten seven gold tigers you could then go for the king's ransom challenge which is to get three kills without dying five times while using the xm4 moving on to catalyst the third mastery camo if you've gone ahead and gotten king's ransom on 33 total weapons in black ops 6 war zone you could then do the catalyst challenge which is to get five kills on enemies affected by your stun grenade flashbang or shock charge with the xm4 or the weapon that you're actually working on but last but not least we have abyss and once you've gotten catalyst on 33 total weapons in black ops 6 warzone you can do the abyss challenge which is to get five kills without dying two times while using that weapon so those are the mastery camel challenges which apply to every single weapon class inside of black ops 6 warzone now today's video is sponsored by No Lag VPN. There's no time for excuses in Season 1 of Warzone as you can take advantage of easier lobbies to bring out your true potential. Players can enable an ultra-fast connection, get into easier lobbies, and break their kill record with No Lag VPN. Folks who are experiencing packet loss or FPS drops can also rest easy knowing that No Lag VPN has their back. Now, this is a tool that helps you enjoy games more casually while keeping low latency. There are some discounts for up to 62% off off for no lag vpn and there are multiple locations worldwide that you can go ahead and connect to you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to getting shadow banned or banned altogether since using a vpn is not against tos but if you're ready to have a great time with your friends on warzone or black ops 6 then check out no lag vpn with a special link down below in this video's description or the pinned comment and thank you to no lag vpn for sponsoring today's video but now when it comes to the special camo category, these challenges will be different for every weapon in every single weapon class. So with the XM4, they want you to get five kills while under an enemy UAV with the XM4. And the next camo is to get 10 kills while moving with the XM4. Moving on to our next assault rifle, which is the AK-74. Go over into camos. They want you to get two kills within 30 seconds, five times with the AK-74, and then five kills while the most wanted contract target is active, right? So while you are the most wanted contract target is when you can go ahead and get that unlocked. The MS-85, as you can see here for the first special, you get five long shots. So here's the introduction of long shots <laughs> for our camel challenges. And they want you to get three kills in a single match five times with the MS-85. GPR 91. 
It wants you to go ahead and get five kills against a player that recently damaged you while using this weapon, and then get five kills shortly after sprinting with the GPR-91. The next assault rifle is going to be the Model L. Heading over into camos. I want you to get five kills on a most wanted contract target while using this weapon, and then get two kills without reloading five times with this weapon. So pretty straightforward challenges so far. Let's go ahead and equip the Goblin. Nobody's favorite weapon <laughs> inside of Black Ops 6. I want you to get five kills shortly after sliding with the Goblin, and then five kills on enemies impaired by your tacticals with the Goblin. But then when it comes to the AS Val, an absolute fan favorite, as far as these special challenges do go, they want you to go ahead and get two kills without taking damage five times while using this weapon. And then they want you to get five kills shortly after reloading with this weapon. But when it comes to the Craig C, we can't actually see, but as you can see in a multiplayer private match, we can preview the Warzone special camo. So he wants you to get three kills in a single match, five times with the Krig, and then five kills shortly after sprinting with the Krig as well. But I'm moving on to SMGs. We have the C9. They want you to go ahead and get five kills on a most wanted contract target while using this weapon, and then five kills shortly after reloading with this weapon. After that, we have the next SMG, which is the KSV. A pretty good weapon. We'll see if it's viable in Warzone later, but Ten fire kills while using the KSV, and then five kills shortly after sprinting with the KSV. Our next SMG is going to be the Tonto 22, baby. They want you to go ahead and get five kills while under an enemy UAV with the Tonto, and then five kills while moving with the Tonto. Our next SMG is the PP919. They want you to get two kills without reloading 15 times while using the 919, and then five kills on enemies impaired by your tacticals with the PP919. The Jackal PDW... Special camel challenges are as follows. They want you to get 10 hipfire kills while using this weapon, and then 10 kills while moving with the Jackal PDW. Also, a uh, fan favorite SMG from the beta. Compact 92, we actually don't have unlocks. We got to go on a private match to check that one out. But the Compact 92 special camel challenges in Warzone are as follows five point blank kills with the weapon itself, and then five kills shortly after sliding with the Compact 92. But as far as the new SMG does go, the SOG, as you can see for Warzone Special Challenge 1, get five hip fires with this weapon and then three kills in a single match five different times while using the SOG. But I'm moving on to Shotgun Special Camel Challenges. As you can see, they want you to get five point blank kills while using the Marine SP and then five kills on enemies impaired by your tacticals while using the Marine SP. But the second shotgun, the ASG, Special Camel Challenges are as follows. 10 hipfire kills while using it, and then 5 kills against a player that recently damaged you. That's an interesting challenge that probably has to be done in a match of Resurgence, to be honest with you. You want to be in a bit of a close quarters experience to do that. But for LMGs, starting off with the PU-21, the first Special Camel Challenge is to get 2 kills without taking damage 5 different times while using this weapon, and then 5 kills on a most wanted contract target while using this weapon. The next light machine gun is an XMG. One of the all-time favorites in BO6. They want you to get two kills without reloading five different times with this weapon, and then five kills while under an enemy UAV while using this weapon. The last light machine gun is the GPMG, which we got to go to a private match for. But back in a private match, the GP special camo challenges in Warzone are as follows. They want you to get two kills within 30 seconds five times while using this weapon, and then 10 kills while prone while using this LMG. But then for Marksman Rifles, we have the SWAT, a weapon that was pretty viable during the beta. We'll see if it's good in Warzone later, but they want you to get five point blank kills with the SWAT and then five kills shortly after sliding with the SWAT. The next Marksman Rifle is going to be the 762. As you can see, the first challenge is to get two kills within 30 seconds, five different times, and then 10 kills while prone while using this rifle. But the next Marksman is going to be the AEK. As you can see, they want you to get three kills in a single match five different times while using the 973, and then five kills shortly after sprinting with the AEK. But the last marksman rifle is locked, so heading into multiplayer. But popping back over into a MP private match to see these challenges, we have get five long shot kills with the DM10, followed by five kills against a player that recently damaged you while in Warzone and using the DM10. But for snipers, we have the LW3. 
as you can see here, the first special is get two one-shot kills in a single match five different times, followed by get five kills at extreme range with the LW3. So extreme range obviously could be measured pretty easily. When you go into your optic class, you could see which optics will actually provide you with extreme range options, right? I think anywhere upwards of like maybe 7x or more as far as the scope goes. But the next sniper is going to be the SVD. Special camos include getting two kills while prone within 20 seconds, five times while using this weapon, and then get five kills shortly after swapping weapons with the SVD. But our last sniper is going to be the LR762. They want you to get five one-shot kills with the LR, and then five kills shortly after reloading with the LR. But I'm moving on to secondaries. We have the pistol special camo challenges for Warzone. They want you to get 10 kills while moving with the nine millimeter, and then five kills shortly after swapping weapons with the nine millimeter. But our next pistol is gonna be the Grakova. As far as the special camos go, we have get 10 hip fire kills with the weapon and then five kills shortly after swapping weapons with the Grakova. But the next pistol is the GS45. We'll see how similar those challenges are. Five kills against the player that recently damaged you while using that weapon. And then five kills shortly after swapping weapons with the GS45. Our final pistol is gonna be the Strider 22. A new one from launch. Special camo. Challenge number one. Get five point blank kills with the Strider. And then five kills shortly after swapping weapons with the Strider. But now for launchers. Everybody's favorite category in Black Ops 6. I'm just kidding. We have destroy five vehicles driven by enemy operators with the Sigma. Then five kills on an airborne target with the Sigma. That's crazy. The next launcher and the only other launcher in Black Ops 6 Warzone is the HE-1. They want you to go ahead and destroy five vehicles driven by enemy operators and two kills in a single match two different times with the HE-1. Another thing to mention about launcher military camels for Warzone is that it doesn't require you to get 100 kills like with the other weapons. It only requires 40. But as far as melee special camos go, so for military, it's almost the same as your ranged and regular weapons, just basic eliminations, but you only need 50 for the combat knife. But for special, get five kills shortly after sprinting with the knife and then... Five kills against a player that recently damaged you with the knife. As far as mastery for melee, it's just about the same. Three kills of being the most wanted. Uh, kills without dying. Three kills on enemies affected by your stun. And then again, five kills without dying once. But for the baseball bat, our other melee weapon available as of right now. We don't have it unlocked, so we got to check it out in an MP private match. But now as we're back in a private match, you can see the Warzone special challenges for... The baseball bat, first off, they want you to go ahead and get, let's see how many kills, five on enemies impaired by your tactical while using the bat, and then five kills while under an enemy UAV with the bat as well. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all of the camel challenges available in Black Ops 6 Warzone? Again, as a reminder, these new camel challenges aren't for any of the modern warfare weaponry from MW2 or 3. These challenges were just for Black Ops 6 weapons exclusively. With that being said, really hope you guys have enjoyed. And for an ultimate guide on all Black Ops 6 MP and zombie camel challenges, you can check out that other video linked below.